please like, share, and subscribe. Hello everyone. I just finished watching Netflix's new anime series Terminator Zero. And even though after reviewing the trailer for this, a lot of viewers were like, it's Netflix, it's not gonna be good. I went into this with an open mind. And I'm glad I did because there's a lot of elements that I really enjoyed in this. So overall, I was pleasantly surprised. Now having said that, there are a few issues. You know, from the trailer we saw that there's a Terminator sent back in time. He might be after the children. And one of those children is insufferable. He is getting on my nerves in almost every single scene. And yet, it's not as bad as their caretaker. The caretaker is so oblivious to their own emotions. Every situation, she reacts like the complete opposite of what is normal. To the point that every episode got on my nerves with this character. And even though it's explained in the last two episodes, it still doesn't negate the fact that it just was so aggravating every single time. Every time this character is on screen, you just want to wring her neck. And it takes the forefront. It just, every single time, it would disconnect me from being into the series totally. Other than that, folks might have an issue because we all know that it's pretty much the Rebels against Skynet. And this series brought in a third element. Another AI to combat the first AI, Skynet. Now I'm not sure how people will react to this. But I do think it is a normal evolution to the storyline. It's organic. And it kind of makes sense. If you're going back in time and you keep going back in time, time and time again, you have to try different approaches and maybe having an AI combat another AI makes sense somehow. But I do know that a lot of people might think, well, this is just another way of rinse and repeat. I thought it brought another layer to the storytelling. And also, I was pleasantly surprised because from the trailer, I thought this was going to be extremely gruesome and bloody and gore, a lot of gore. And I wasn't necessarily comfortable with children. It is Netflix, so you know that a lot of children will have access to this and it's really not as bad as I thought I've seen so many I mean just take attack on Titan which is a hundred times worse than this anime series so not as bad I think it is okay for young children to watch this and there's a couple of cool concepts other than adding the third element another AI another layer to this there was some concepts debated and discussed in this series about how time travel might work, how it affects the timelines. Yes, timelines. Going into the past doesn't necessarily change the future. It just creates another timeline. So I thought that it was interesting to see that you're trying to correct the wrongs of days past, but it's not going to change anything. The people living in the future are still going to be stuck with their reality. I thought these were really interesting concepts to bring to a show. And I'm really glad for that reason alone. I think that's one of the main points of this show that got me interested. And kept me interested throughout every single episode. On a side note, they had a really good soundtrack during the trailer. I wish it was the opening music for every single episode. The, the vibe that that song gave in the trailer, I was really wanting that throughout the series. Unfortunately, the soundtrack kind of falls flat throughout the show. But that's just nitpicking at this point. Overall, 75% was really good. 25% is pretty much debatable. But I'm interested in knowing you, the viewer, what did you think about it? 
Have you seen it? Do you plan on seeing it? Let me know in the comments down below, and I'll see you in the next video. But that is just my opinion. Let me know yours in the comments down below. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe. If you didn't like it, thank you so much for listening this long. Hopefully, I'll see you in the next video. Until then, check these out.